Here I am starting with some cardboard to do the nose on the three-wheeler. You can see how I've cut it, taped it, shaped the cardboard. This is a picture of the tape showing that I taped the cardboard from behind, not from in front. You need that lip to adhere the new fiberglass to the old fiberglass. It'll be a good bonding surface, but it won't be the, the final bonding surface. So I tape everything up, keep the tape off of the fiberglass because you're going to, again, need that surface. This is me getting everything in place, shaping everything. Um, you're going to come back in after this is all done. You're going to clean the back side with some acetone and some sanding and uh, reinforce this from the back side. Usually when I fiberglass like this, I'll do two layers. Corners will get maybe a little bit more, just so when I trim it up and shape it, I have a little bit more I can sand. So you can see all your hairs hanging out all over the place. As the fiberglass starts to harden, I'll come in and trim them with scissors. I usually don't use a razor knife because you could slip and really slice your hand up. But when this is done and it hardens up, I'll take an orbital, handheld orbital, and I'll go in and I'll start sanding all all the all the edges and all the pieces that might give you a splinter or, or cut your hand get all this taken care of get the cardboard pulled off the back start pulling the tape off it will be sticky but i'd start pulling it all off anyways so that way when i flip it over at the end i can clean the back side like i said put a couple two to three layers on the back side for a good adhesion good bonding make sure that uh, everything is done cardboard aided design